In 2017, the NFL was taken over by a young, energetic, offensive genius who completely changed the way NFL teams looked for their next head coach. Gone were the days of earning your stripes through years of experience, now was the age of youth and innovation. Today we take a look at the man who started this new movement and the coaches that followed him to determine if this model is NFL gold or whether it's fool's gold. Of course we're talking about the young sensation Sean McVay and the McVay effect on the entire NFL coaching landscape as a whole. No coach has taken the league by storm quite like Sean McVay did. Now five years into his head coaching career, McVay has already had two Super Bowl appearances and several coaches added to his coaching tree. This includes never having a losing record and making the playoffs in four out of his five first seasons. But before we get to our big question, let's take a look at where it all began. McVay started his coaching career as an assistant wide receivers coach for the 2008 Tampa Bay Buccaneers under head coach John Gruden. The next year he took a one year stop as a receivers coach of the Florida Tuskers in the United Football League, before returning to the NFL under Mike Shanahan of the Washington Redskins. It's under Shanahan's offensive system that McVay truly began to develop. In his four years with Shanahan, Sean McVay would act as the tight ends coach soaking up knowledge of the system. McVay would join an all-star studded group of offensive assistants on Shanahan's staff. Along with himself, McVay was also joined by names such as Kyle Shanahan, Matt LaFleur, and Mike McDaniel. All young, hungry football nerds who got to bounce ideas off of one another and innovate offshoots of the Mike Shanahan offense they were running. Following the hiring of Jay Gruden as head coach of the Redskins, Sean McVay was chosen to be promoted to offensive coordinator, where he got play calling experience. He held that role for three seasons before parlaying that into a head coaching position with the Los Angeles Rams in 2017. At just under 31 years old, Sean McVay would become the youngest person to ever hold the title of head coach in the modern era of the NFL, and the youngest since the Rams hired a 27-year-old Art Lewis in 1938. In his first season in Los Angeles, he finished with an 11-5 record, but lost in the wildcard round to the Atlanta Falcons. His first season earned him Coach of the Year honors and made him an NFL sensation. McVay followed his coaching debut with a 13-win season in 2018. That year, his team cruised to Super Bowl 53, and still at just 33 years old, McVay became the youngest coach to ever lead his team to a Super Bowl. However, the Rams' high-flying offense would be stifled against Bill Belichick and Brian Flores' New England Patriots defense, and they would lose 13-3 in the lowest scoring Super Bowl in NFL history. Coming off the shell shock of being so embarrassed in the Super Bowl, McVay's Rams would go 9-7 in 2019 and miss the playoffs. In 2020, McVay would get back on track with a 10-6 campaign in the playoff appearance, losing in the divisional round. Finally, in 2021, after moving on from quarterback Jared Goff, McVay traded a third round and two first round picks for veteran quarterback Matthew Stafford. Expectations were high, and McVay delivered. The Rams went 12-5 and defeated the Cincinnati Bengals in Super Bowl 56, earning McVay his first Lombardi trophy. Sean McVay's incredible success is just getting started, and his legacy is still growing. Part of that legacy is the impact he's had on the way NFL head coaches are hired. Being a copycat league, other teams began to look for their own young football guru in the McVay mold, including some of McVay's own staff. The McVay coaching tree will continue to help define his legacy. So let's take a look at the names currently on that list. The first coach on McVay's coaching tree is Matt LaFleur, who is an interesting addition to the list. He technically grew alongside Sean McVay on the Washington Redskins staff under Mike Shanahan, but LaFleur would not stay on Jay Gruden's staff like McVay did. After one season in the college ranks at Notre Dame, he would join his old buddy Kyle Shanahan in Atlanta as the quarterback's coach under Dan Quinn. In 2017, as McVay built his staff in his first year as Rams head coach, LaFleur was chosen to be his offensive coordinator. Following one season as McVay's offensive coordinator, LaFleur would leave to take the same role 
role with the Tennessee Titans. This was probably so that he could have play calling duties and continue to establish a name for himself. Either way, the move worked, and after just one season with the Titans, he was hired to be the next head coach of the Green Bay Packers in 2019 at age 40, which to put in perspective is the oldest coach we're going to talk about today. And Lafleur has won in an outstanding 13 games in each of his first three seasons in Green Bay, reaching the conference championship in his first two seasons and losing in the divisional round in his third. Two of those three years, in 2019 and 2021, were ended by losses to his old friend Kyle Shanahan in the 49ers. Matt LaFleur currently holds a coaching win-loss record of 39-10 and has never missed the playoffs to this point in his career. The next Sean McVay assistant to become a head coach is Zach Taylor. Taylor began his NFL coaching career on the Miami Dolphins from 2012 to 2015 as quarterback's coach under Joe Philbin. Following Philbin's dismissal after just four weeks in 2015, Taylor would be promoted to interim offensive coordinator under interim head coach Dan Campbell. And after not being retained, Zach Taylor would spend the next season as an offensive coordinator at the University of Cincinnati. He would return to the NFL as an assistant wide receivers coach on Sean McVay's Los Angeles Rams. In the next year, he'd be promoted to quarterback's coach. In 2019, looking to hop on the young offensive guru bandwagon, the Cincinnati Bengals would hire Zach Taylor to be their new head coach at just 36 years old. In his first two seasons, Taylor finished with a 2-14 and 4-11-1 record. But in 2021, with a healthy Joe Burrow in his sophomore year in the NFL, Taylor would go 10-7 and, and win the Bengals' first playoff game in 31 years. But their Cinderella story didn't end there. After winning against the Raiders in the wild card, the Bengals would beat the number one seed Tennessee Titans in the divisional round and would then defeat the reigning AFC champion Kansas City Chiefs in the championship round and find themselves in Super Bowl 56 against none other than the man who jumpstarted Taylor's career, Sean McVay, in the Los Angeles Rams. Taylor's Bengals would end up losing that game to his mentor. Overall, Zach Taylor's coaching record currently sits at 16, 32, and 1, with one playoff appearance and one Super Bowl appearance. The third and, as of now, final addition to the Sean McVay coaching tree is Brandon Staley. Unlike the previously mentioned coaches, Staley is actually a defensive coach, although still in the same mold of McVay in that he's an uber young coach at 39 years old. Brandon Staley got his first NFL job as an outside linebackers coach on the Chicago Bears under head coach John Fox and defensive coordinator Vic Fangio in 2017. He served there for two years before joining Vic Fangio's staff with the Denver Broncos in the same role. Staley would get the opportunity to be a defensive coordinator in 2020 under Sean McVay on the Rams, where his defense finished ranked number one across the entire NFL. And that was enough to generate buzz, and the Los Angeles Chargers jumped on the young head coach train and made Staley, after only just four years coaching at the NFL level, their head coach in 2021. In his one year with the Chargers so far, Staley finished 9-8 and, and narrowly missed the playoffs in a thrilling overtime loss to the Las Vegas Raiders in Week 18. To learn more about Staley's story, you can check out my deep dive video on him by clicking the link above. And that concludes the current Sean McVay coaching tree. There is no doubt McVay has the beginnings of a legendary career. With a 55-26 and 26 coaching record and two Super Bowl appearances, including one win, by the age of 35, the sky is literally the limit for the success of Sean McVay. His coaching tree also appears to be super successful already. With a total combined record of 64, 50, and 1, four playoff appearances, and one Super Bowl appearance, and only two losing seasons between all three coaches on McVay coaching tree. But is all of this success legitimate? Some could argue the success of the three McVay disciples is fool's gold, as each one is propped up by a very good to elite NFL quarterback. Lafleur has Aaron Rodgers, Zach Taylor has Joe Burrow, and Brandon Staley has Justin Herbert. Could those be the reasons they have had such unprecedented success for this young coaching tree? Perhaps. But it's also never a good idea to doubt how hard it is to win in the NFL, regardless of your quarterback. Also, who cares? If it wins your team Super Bowls, 
then that's all that matters at the end of the day. Just know that if your team hires a McVay style head coach, it may come with the caveat of needing a great quarterback to win the big one. Which goes to say it's maybe pretty much like any other head coach hire. So the only way to truly know whether or not NFL teams are striking gold with the McVay way is for time to tell. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this look at Sean McVay and his coaching tree, then I ask that you give this video a like. And if it's something that you might want to see more of, I invite you to hit subscribe and join our ever-growing community. Lastly, please leave a comment below with your thoughts. Is the McVay coaching tree fool's gold? Let me know. And as always, thank you for taking the time to watch my video, and I'll see you all in the next one.